Okay, so I'd like to talk a bit about Criterion and their decision to go to 4K. Now that we know what they are going to be releasing, and that it will be in November, I would like to give some of my thoughts on that. So my reaction when I heard the news that they were actually going to release 4K was pretty much the same as when I heard just the rumors that they might do 4K, which was just kind of... eh, okay. Not because I was thinking, oh, better late than never. I just didn't think it was really, really necessary for them to do it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love 4K, and everyone else who's watching this video loves 4K as well. I think more stuff should be released on 4K. I think my hesitation was because their catalog is so large, and I didn't want to just see them re-release old releases. Now, I don't think my fears on that are going to come to pass. I think all they're really going to do when it comes to their previous releases is release stuff they already have 4K transfers and scans of. And then all subsequent releases will be put onto 4K discs. So I don't think that's going to come to pass, but I also don't think that their overall clientele really cares too much. Criterion just has so much clout, I don't think it needs to be a really, really top priority for them. I don't think they're going to be left behind. However, having said all that, I do think that perhaps this may bring people to 4K who were on the fence. After all, I've told other people I know that even if you don't have 4K, I think it might be wise just to buy it anyway, especially if it's a combo pack. Well, mainly if it's a combo pack, because if it's not, then you're out of luck. But if it's a combo pack and you've got the 4K plus the regular Blu-ray, I think you should just go ahead and buy it just to sort of prepare for your eventual upgrade. Since this criterion is so popular anyway, I do think this will help to bring more people into the realm of 4K. I really hope it does. So I am excited about this. I am quite excited about this. In fact, I already pre-ordered Citizen Kane. Of the first six that they're going to release on 4K, I don't think there's a whole lot that I'm going to be buying because three of them are already out on Blu-ray and I absolutely love them. The Red Shoes is one of them. I also have A Hard Day's Night. I don't have Mulholland Drive because I'm not a giant fan of that one, but I doubt I'll be picking that one up too. But I would like to pick up The Piano as well as Citizen Kane, which I have pre-ordered, as I said. My initial reaction was, eh, but Criterion is so, so good with their transfers. I have very high hopes for these discs. So on to these first releases in November. I have a few thoughts. It's mainly about the artwork of Citizen Kane. The other releases have very, very nice artwork, whether it's the original poster or it's an original design by someone. But Citizen Kane is very... plain. I can imagine that artwork on the inside on the cover of the booklet. I don't mind the fact that it isn't the original poster or any imagery from the film. But I think if they had done something just a tiny bit more, if they had made it maybe formatted like the headline of a newspaper, you know, or if they had put Citizen somewhere there, or if it just said Kane, or, you know, done something else. So I think it's a good idea, it's a good rough draft, but I don't think it really works for the final look. Now, I was really hoping that this artwork was just placeholder, but it is the final artwork. So there it is, Criterion is finally going 4K. Despite my initial hesitancy, I am quite excited and I will be looking forward to seeing what they release because, as I said, I think a lot of things deserve to be on 4K. Not every movie needs to be, but I do love the format and I have made videos about the purpose of 4K and I think, really thinking about it now, this has probably just occurred to me, Criterion's releases are probably the most deserving of 4K because, after all, Criterion is an essential. So they believe all their films to be essential viewing, and they absolutely are. This probably should have been something Criterion embraced earlier. They may not have had the resources or the money at the time, but it is definitely a step forward that they need to be taking. All right, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.